popular adult card game is getting a reboot. Now, if you're not familiar with Cards Against Humanity, you've been under a rock. Okay, let me explain it to you. It's like a purposefully twisted apples to apples. That's another word association game, and the official tagline is a party game for horrible people. Well, now the popular game is getting an ironic makeover, a crowdsourced project called Jaden Aid. Jaded Aid. <laughs> Jaden Aid's another one. But Jaded Aid is this great game. It's using the format to highlight corruption and mismanagement in the world of international development through humor. Now, the new tagline is for aid workers everywhere to be the cynicism they wish to see in the world. Joining me now is one of the co founders of Jaded Aid, 20 year veteran of the global tech world, Wayne Vota. Hello, how are you? Good morning. Uh, doing great today. This is great. How and when did you all get the idea for this project initially? Well, it actually came about through uh, many years of playing Cards Against Humanity and other word association games in places like Afghanistan or uh, Kenya, and having the viewpoint that it's a, Cards Against Humanity is a great game, but at the same point, we always think that in development, we should really do something that's tied to the local context, to be really grassroots and from the people. And so we looked at around and we thought, you know, we should do a game that's just for the international development sector. And so that's Jaded Aid, a card game to save humanitarians. <laughs> All right, so for those who may not be familiar with the game, someone puts out a card that has a blank to fill in and then players drop the card that they think fits best. Okay, it's totally subjective. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. So here's the situation where the initial card reads, foreign assistant was started to feed white people's unquenchable thirst for blank. And the options are, a, a career and contract compliance, indigenous alcohol, turning human waste into clean energy, and per diems. <laughs> Another example, this one right here reads, my only real accomplishment in Peace Corps was blank. And the cards that the theoretical people could have put down, vandalizing a Mandela statue, helpies, which are selfies to brag about helping, early termination, or whispering under your breath that the U.S. is not the center of the world. I love this. Who's deciding what goes on these cards? So it's actually great. We've started the th us co-founders, Teddy Rouge, Jessica Hansman, and myself with some original ideas, but we've opened it up to our community and asked people to send in their own ideas. And now, wow, we have almost a thousand people, a thousand entries of new cards that people have sent in and more every single day. Uh, the card entries are both shocking and uh, humorous at the same time because people are sending in cards that really speak to the experiences they've had. One of my favorites, and took me aback for a minute, was one where a card was uh, suggested, a white card, an answer card should be uh, finding that perfect photogenic handicapped brown child with flies in their eyes, which uh, was told to me was actual request from a marketing department of a humanitarian organization. And so when you're faced with, with real requests like that, one of the best uh, answers to it is playing a game like this with your friends to let off the steam that it brings to you. Absolutely. That is the ultimate in tragic helpies, wouldn't you say? <laughs> and sadly, there's actually an entire tinder of humanitarians of tinder, of pictures of, of people that have gone to Africa and have a great photograph of people around them so they look really cool to show all their friends that they're really helping. And so Jaded Aid, one of the aspects as people who are professionals in this field, is to try to deal with those like that that may be coming for their own personal excitement versus helping people like they should be. Well, just like Jay today, looking really cool, surrounded by poverty, is subjective. But here's the thing. Everyone is getting on board. It's a great idea. People completely connect to it because of all of the nuance that goes on in this community. With 21 days left to go, you have already more than doubled your goal on Kickstarter. Did you expect that kind of success? Oh, wow. No, we were expecting, uh, we were hoping to get to $12,000 uh, by the end of the the month to be able to print decks and have some really crazy parties, but it turns out that people really love it, the idea, and so uh, it's great to see it. And we're doing stretch goals, like we just did one where uh, at 26,000, we are now going to send a card deck to every single UN delegate. We can't wait for the next UN General Assembly for them to play the card, what would bring peace to the Middle East? And they have fun answers like uh, Dennis Rodman, are more per diems, are UN peacekeeper cholera, which I think is one of the more realistic, though uh, cynical, answers. <laughs> now here's the thing, someone on the outside looking in might think we are horrible, horrible people. But talk to us about why it's so important that we do find irony and humor in issues as very serious as international development where the stakes are so high. It does not mean you do not take these issues seriously, right? Yeah. 
Exactly. In fact, uh, in international development, we often take these issues very seriously and too seriously to a point. So we look at something like j to date as a way for us to really dig deeper into these issues and get past them and really use humor as a way to bring them forth and discuss them. I mean, it's hard to talk about some of these issues in a very straight-laced meeting with USAID or a ma another major donor. But in the after hours with some great friends and some indigenous alcohol, playing a game like this allows humor to be a way to talk about some of these issues and really pull them forth. And our goal is that j to date will actually help change the development sector and improve us. So while it's a mixture of cynicism, um, we do actually have an underlying goal of optimism. Absolutely. Wayne, thank you so much for joining us. Make sure all of you watching, you check out Jaded Aid's Kickstarter page in our resource well below this video screen. You can support the project, pre-order your game, and here's the best part, suggest more cards, because if your card gets used, your game is on the house.